What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another revenge unboxing. I really wanna shout out the revenge Reddit community. Y'all really know how to hype me up guys. I fuck with all y'all heavy. All jokes aside, y'all really did have a lot of nice things to say, so I appreciate the support. A lot of you will notice that these products are from an old drop that took place in June on the 16th. So the story with this package is I ordered on June 16th, then I got a shipping notification on June 26th that my package had shipped. But I kid you not, months had passed by and the shipping info hadn't updated, so I then proceeded to blow up Garrett's DMs and his email and anything else I could find that was associated with revenge. I can only imagine what he was doing instead of shipping all my stuff. Surely he wasn't throwing out free shit before fulfilling everybody's orders. Eventually, Garrett did respond to me on July 29th asking for my info. Again, that means order number and my email. So I messaged him back and he assured me that everything would be fixed that coming Thursday. Some time had passed and my shipping info still wasn't updating. So I hit him up again and he said everything would be fixed by that coming Monday. It didn't fucking happen. So I then proceeded to blow his shit up again. I kid you not, I was responding to all his stories on Instagram, pretty much just bugging the fuck out of him hoping I could make some progress. So a month later, he messaged me and asked for my info again. That's right, August 29th, he asked for my shipping info again. At this point, my shipping info finally updated. I saw that it was inbound and it was finally delivered on September 4th. I ordered June 16th and it came in September 4th. So that's an 80 day shipping and delivery time. Anyways, now that I've got the boring part out of the way, uh, it's time to start looking at some of the stuff I bought. I'll start off by showing y'all something I've already opened and that's the Revenge Underwear 3 pack. I bought these in size large. I'm pretty sure this is just a Hanes blank. My favorite thing about them is probably the Revenge embroidered logo right here. You get the picture, it's just underwear. The waistband is okay. The tag is really funny, it says, take no shit, 666% cotton, not for resale, don't sell your fucking underwear. The funny thing is, I've already seen these for resale on Grail, just uh, insert a shit stain about right here and that's exactly what you'll get. Okay, moving on. Next up is the gray embroidered crew neck in size large. This was one of my favorite pieces from the whole drop. I'm really impressed with the quality of this crew neck. I can't believe that the stitching on this embroidery right here is perfect. I'm seeing a lot of people say that they had loose string, but this one is absolutely perfect. Here's the revenge tag up here, and we'll hang it up to get a better visual. This crew neck looks really great. It's not all that soft on the inside, but that's okay. I feel like if they made it more soft, it'd have to be a more dense fabric, but I like how thin it is. It just looks really comfortable. Just as an added bonus, this is my girlfriend's pink crew neck in size small, and the stitching on this one is also perfect. We'll do a quick turnaround of this one too. No design on the back. They almost look identical in size. I mean, hers is huge on her, and I haven't tried mine yet, but for this being a size small, it doesn't look that much smaller than the large over here. Both are really clean pieces. These were $128 each. So these crew necks alone were 256 bucks of the order. Next up is the Revenge Skate Deck. It looks pretty good, but I would have preferred for the whole logo to fit on the deck. I don't think I really like the R and the G and the E being cut off, but that's just me. Here's the other side of the board. I don't know if this is a piece that I'm actually going to keep or not, but if I do, it's just going to be put up on the wall and I'll probably leave the plastic on it. I was also supposed to receive a pair of track pants in my order, but if you watched my last video, you know that Garrett sent me this sticker instead. It says on the back, ran out of track pants, threw in a black on black hoodie instead, and free tee. Thanks. So the t-shirt he sent me is the Revenge Chrome Tee in white, size large. Let's get it hung up. I really like the logo on this t-shirt. It looks like it's just a modified lightning logo. I love how it looks three-dimensional. Also, the lettering is screen printed. It's not raised like some of the other tees. No design on the back and the quality feels decent. This is the hoodie that Garrett sent me. I'm kind of confused and surprised that he sent me this black on black hoodie because this is from the Christmas day drop. 
It makes me feel a little bit bad because I know that there's some kid out there that didn't receive this and he paid for it. Fuck him though, I always wanted this hoodie. I gotta say, this hoodie is really nice. Oh, I see an imperfection right here. Oh, I think it's just a Garrett pube. Honestly, this Revenge logo almost looks gray. So I think it should have been called a gray on black hoodie, but it still looks really nice. This hoodie features the barcode tag. It's like sparkly silver lettering on it. Here is the sizing tag. It says Revenge Large, and there's the Anarchy A right there, made in the USA. This hoodie does look great, um, but I mentioned in the last video that I'm not a big fan of the cropped look. Um, I guess I'm just too short and fat for that look. It says Revenge is in the creator's hands on the right sleeve in that kind of like old English type font. But my favorite thing about the hoodie is the back. Here's that varsity looking type font on the R. This skull with this puffy looking type printing. It looks really fucking sick. Back to the front. I don't know if I'm going to keep this hoodie just because, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the cropped look. I just can't pull it off. Um, I might keep this in my collection. Um, I may come around and start wearing it, but if not, I'll probably resell it. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. If you didn't see my last Revenge unboxing, I'll leave a link in the description below. Again, shout out to my Revenge Reddit community and shout out to the Revenge Discord. I don't want to sound like I'm salty. I just talk like this. I'm fucking monotone, but I'm going to work on it, guys. Leave a comment below on what you felt was your favorite piece. Thanks for watching, guys. Ah.